assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to php tutorials today is our lecture number eight and in today's lecture i'm going to demonstrate the conditional statements we have in php uh, i have already written in the front screen that is if else and switch case why we use conditional statements the first question because in real life uh, we humans do make decisions and the decisions are totally purely 100% based on some conditions let's say i wanted to go on picnic but i make a condition that if the weather was not good then i will not go to the picnic but this is the condition if the weather is not good so based on that condition you are picking a decision so likewise in computing in, com in in software development in web application development whatever the programming language you are writing these conditional statements are similar and same and you can use these conditional statements for taking decision uh, from your computer okay so uh, let me tell you uh, what uh, how can you use these conditions and what is the difference between if else and switch case uh, in today's lecture okay so let's start all right guys so uh, i have already created a page in front of you people uh, the name uh, of the uh, the name of the page is let's say the title is conditional statements and then uh, the heading is also i have applied conditional statements and look uh, in the previous lectures i have mentioned how to you how you send your data to another page okay so that's my html page and i am sending i will send my data on this php page with the help of this method okay so um, uh, right here enter let's say obtain marks obtained marks so i am creating a grading application uh, and I, I will use the if else uh, to calculate the obtain uh, the percentage and the grade of the student so um, here you need input type equal to text and then you need here the o marks simple or you can write o text the name should be without space so that's my obtain marks text and then uh, at this label you can write enter total marks and colon and then you can write here uh, t text i hope it is clear to everyone now uh, when you press the submit button the data should be sent over this page the index page okay and what you do here you receive the data so dollar um, o that means my obtain marks dollar underscore post and then you can specify here your variable name that is o text your control name that is o text make sure that you haven't done the spelling mistake and then the next thing is um, the total marks so i'm creating a variable and dollar underscore post and i am using here that thing that is t text the text box okay and now i can calculate my percentage in p is equals to dollar obtain marks divided by dollar total marks multiply by 100 okay so that's the formula of percentage simple now uh, the the lecture i'm going to demonstrate is of conditional statement so where i should apply the condition yes when when we when you're going to calculate the grade okay this is how the percentage is calculated let me show the result first so that i can be satisfied with this post because i am worrying about this a small case post so the percentage is dollar p and then save and then go to your html page and then chrome and let's see so uh, that's my page and obtain marks let's say 345 and then total marks let's say 500 and then calculate so look undefined variable uh, that's what I, I was worrying about the problem is this you can write here capital post okay in caps and you can write here also in caps it, it, it is not recognizing a small caps so uh, you have to write here like this now it's fine dollar underscore post okay so let me write here uh, oh so okay it's fine now let's check uh, go to the browser and refresh the page and then again enter the marks and then calculate look now it is fine so the percentage is now calculating now i wanted to calculate the grid with the help of the if else statement the syntax of writing if is this you write the uh, if and then you write the round brackets and then you write the body of the if i hope it is clear to everyone one more thing that i must mention here that you have to pass the condition inside if else and you should not write semicolon at the end of if because if you write semicolon at the end of if the body of if will not be entertained i hope it is clear to everyone uh, we apply semicolon at the end of the line 
is not correct statement we apply semicolon at the end of the statement when the statement is finished so that here the statement is not finishing you are coming inside so i hope it is clear to everyone so in if what you can write dollar p now i wanted to test uh, with my grading criteria because i know what my grade grading criteria is what the school grading criteria is so let's say if the percentage is greater than equals to 80 let's say whatever the percentage will be if it is greater than equals to 80 and then logical operator i am applying here and the percentage is less than equals to 100 so if the percentage criteria is lies between these two uh, criteria then what you can do you can copy cut this message and you can display the message the percentage is this and you can specify the percent sign also and your grade or you can write the gray and grade is and specify your grade that is a plus because at this point your grade is a plus i hope it is clear to everyone now uh, it is not necessary that every percentage lies between this domain so you have to use else if or else else means that you are only checking this condition if this is correct if this is incorrect this will happen only this means this but if you wanted to check multiple conditions then you can write else if again one more thing that i must mention only else does not contain any condition listen carefully else only does not contain any condition because it's the last option it's the last option that if nothing is happening then you use uh, the else so but if i have multiple scenarios so i have to give here inside another if and it is known as else if and you can change the condition here that is the percentage is greater than equal to 70 and less than 80 so that what you should do you should display or change the grade so copy it and then paste it one more thing that i must mention here that if you if you know that your if condition has only one line then you can omit these curly brackets i hope it is clear to everyone but if you have multiple lines within the body of the if then you can apply the curly brackets i hope it is clear now uh, copy this and paste it again and make it backward and write here the next condition if the percentage is, is between uh, 60 and less than 70 then the grade is let's say b um, that's a and uh, copy again and paste it and right here if the percentage is greater than 50 and less than 60 then the grade is c okay and then um, the last you can write if the percentage is greater than 50 and less than 60 sorry less uh, greater than equals to 40 and less than 50 then what you can do uh, you can specify the percentage and the grade is d after that you are finished up with all the ex all the conditions that you have now nothing is remaining so you can directly write else no need to write that if the percentage is less than this because all the conditions are now checked and because your else contains also one thing so you can copy this one line and paste it below simple so everything is now perfect the percentage is then uh, this and the grade is f i hope it is clear to everyone now save it and now let's go to the page and then run it so uh, obtain marks and then the total marks and then calculate so what it is displaying me the percentage is 69 percent and the grade is b let us go back and let us write here 450 and then calculate again so look the con it is taking decision based on the if else that i have applied i hope it is clear to everyone okay so this is the case now uh, that's all about the if else and you can notice in if else you can specify as many conditions as you wish to as many conditions okay so there is no limit one more thing that i must mention that is the switch case switch case also works con uh, for conditional decisions or uh, for decision taking but switch case is mostly used for menu driven applications when you are when you are creating menus or when you have a fixed amount of choice and uh, then you you perform the particular operation so let me show you switch case i'm removing this all okay and now i'm coming here so what i wanted to do uh, i wanted to do let's say addition subtraction multiplication division and i, I wanted to give the choice so uh, for that purpose i'm going to use the same thing uh, but in fact uh, if i write here okay no let me take another example let me write here label and label close and select your uh, favorite day 
select your favorite day let's say okay and then you apply a select list and close and give here a name name equals to uh, my list okay and here you can specify the options and option close and right here let's say Monday and copy and paste and paste and paste and paste how much they are is it five yes after this six and seven so uh, after Monday we have the other days let's say Tuesday and then Wednesday and then Thursday okay and then Friday and then Saturday and then Sunday okay so all days are now in the list I hope it is clear to everyone now what I wanted to do based on any day selection I must mention something so this is also a criteria where you can use the conditional uh, work so uh, when I click the save button let me add a button here input type equals to submit value show me or uh, whatever you can write and then save and now what you can do you can come here and you can specify your data from the list from so selection let's say is equal to or you can select here choice okay you can create a variable with the name choice and you can specify dollar underscore post and the name of my drop down is my list and then you can specify uh, here switch case so the syntax of switch case is this switch um, tch round brackets and curly brackets okay so what's inside this like if else you have to apply a condition but the difference between if else and switch case is this in if else you can apply multiple conditions in switch case you can apply only one condition only one condition you cannot apply more than one condition inside switch case okay so that's the basic difference between if else and switch case um, so uh, whatever the choice will be it will be inside this okay either it will be Monday or Tuesday or Saturday or whatever the day so you can create cases so in which data type your data is coming in text Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday so you can write here like this Monday okay and then you can write your desired code inside this and then uh, let's say echo this is the first day of week let's say this is the message and then uh, you specify a keyword a jump statement that is known as break what does this mean this means that when this code will execute it the program will be the flow of the program will be break and it will come out and then the rest of the things will execute and the program will terminate then so that's my first case and then copy and then paste it and then paste it and then paste it and then paste and then paste so after Monday we have Tuesday that's the second day of week then the third day of week and fourth fifth and sixth and that's it uh, one more I have to add and change the name of your Wednesday and then these all are cases that this is the possibility that I can receive from my that uh, select list so Thursday and then Friday and then Saturday I hope it is clear to everyone okay now Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday uh, Saturday and then you can write here Sunday and it's the seventh day of the week and but but what happened if the selection is any is is not from this let's say this the customer or the user has sent something else 
that is not available inside your cases then what should be result what should be the result you the default case will run default and it will be written like this okay inside this default you write echo double quotes come inside and you can write here invalid choice simple okay so on on your choice these results will be displayed and at a time only one case will be executed so this is what about the switch case we have created here so let's check the result chrome so select your favorite day let's say i have selected tuesday and show me look it's the second day of the week so based on this selection let's say i am not selecting anything uh, in this particular example uh, i have the uh, this particular list so the, i i don't have i don't have any invalid choice okay but what if the choice is different let me write here somewhere here at this point in fact if i write here like uh, something like this if the user if the data is this then what will happen see uh, because i am not sending the data from my html page so i am directly executing this so look invalid choice so if the data is correct then the data will be executed and the uh, the, the the decision will be picked up one more thing that i must mention here is let me remove this break let me remove this break if i remove the breaks from the switch case what will happen see all the conditions will be executed if i remove the break let me write here again dollar underscore post and write here my list and then save and then come here and go back uh, okay uh, use come come from this part so when you click here look all the cases are executed so break keyword is so uh, is of so much importance i hope it is clear to everyone now let's me tell you one more thing regarding switch case uh, let us go to the php let's say if you have cases uh, that hold similar output you can write that cases together for example um, let's say for monday and for wednesday and for friday you have three same things so what you can do you can cut this uh, okay one mistake i have done here that is this the colon should be applied that's the mistake that i have done please correct that uh, this that's the colon that you have to specify here okay so i hope you can correct that uh, okay now so cut it and paste it here case wednesday and case friday so what will happen if any of the three come into the choice any of the three this will be the result so you can write here mwf monday wednesday friday and remove this remove this remove this remove this and come at the top when you receive thursday uh, you can remove this and yes i am pairing the cases that i have mentioned here okay and in this you write tts th tuesday thursday saturday and that's my sunday and here you can apply break i hope it is clear to everyone so any of the case this should happen let us check chrome if i am selecting tuesday then it is displaying me tuesday this is the seventh day of the week why this is coming this is the seventh day of the week because there is no breaks there are no breaks so you have to apply break keyword simple so this is one and this is another so here you have to apply break also so i hope it is clear to everyone how you can make the nest or the grouping of the cases that are that have the similar output okay so that's all for today hopefully you have understood uh, what is uh, what are conditional statements and how can you take decisions with the help of condition statements and what is the difference between if and else uh, and switch case so thank you so much if you do not understand anything please do write me take care allah hafiz